I suppose you're here to monologue about how we won't be able to stop your brilliant contingency plan, aren't you? Oh, please, Cyber Candy. I'm not some non-Matrix movie hero. Do you think I would brag about my contingency plan if even there was the slightest probability there was anything you and your freedom cult could do to affect the outcome? Want to play a game? Oh, guys? Whoa, what the heart. freak? Oh, snap. Oh, 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 me. What the freaking hell? This bug is possession, bro. We have the big dude who now super bad. You're gonna pay for this, you freaking nerd. Cameo, camera on me, please. Thank you. Hello, nice nail body non digital type YouTube viewers. You're not surprised that my arch nemesis is actually Cyber Candy, are you? Oh, come on. We have similar power sets. It's the standard superhero trope, people. I would venture to say they're as confused as I am about what you've done to my colleagues here, Superstar. It is not within the realm of your Matrix abilities to be able to affect them in this manner. You're absolutely correct, but it is within the realm of my new Elite Henchman's abilities when used in conjunction with mine. Oh, so this is your contingency plan, to have your new Henchman trap us in some pathetic nightmare scenario. Oh, you and Cameo won't be joining them, my former anchorman. You two will have the honor of commentating on the televised demise of your villainous friends. I see. Well, do not forget, you are bound to the movie's sacred three-act structure. If you are to trick the viewers into granting you the title of the quote-unquote hero, you must give the villains a fighting chance. Oh, they'll have a fighting chance, all right. But only to those who survive to face me in the final stage of... Foz Freddy Skellington in a metaphorical Eternity Jewel Nightmare on Nexus 10. Rated E for everyone! Well, that's a crock of shit, Superstar. Oh, they're gone. 